My name is Stephen Beckett and I'm the lead programmer for Time and Talents, the software that supports our world. Today we'd like to go through a brief tour Let's get started. We've already got a username and password typed in the login. We'll go ahead and click login. There's a remember me. If you would like the software to remember your username, then you only need to enter your password, click login, and it brings you to the My News page. You can do a number of things on this page, and one of those things is you can post a message to the entire rest of the exchange. I need to borrow a ladder this weekend. Post my message. Here it is. I can delete any message I've created. I can reply to any message. Any other exchange member that logs in is going to see them. And then every Friday night about 2 a.m., so when you wake up Friday morning at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m., in your mailbox, if you haven't opted out or unsubscribed, you'll find an email containing all the new member to exchange messages, new offers, and new requests that have been created in the past week. This gives you an opportunity to make plans for the weekend about what you'd like to do and how you'd like to participate in time banking. Requests have a Record Hours button. This is Leonardo da Vinci's requesting business and financial accounting. Wants to learn how to use QuickBooks. So let's say I spent some time over at Leonardo's and taught him how to use QuickBooks. Click Record Hours. It remembers that I'm the provider, that Leonardo is the receiver, that I provided business and financial accounting. I would go ahead and pick the date that I provided the service, we'll say. It's a few days ago. And I spent a couple of hours. And I had a fun time. I'll record my transaction. And we're popped over to my statement so that I can verify that the transaction is there. Back on the news page, let's take a look at how I might add a new request. Well, next to new requests, wherever they're listed in the system, you'll see a little edit link. And that's going to take me to a page where I can edit my own personal requests. To add a new request, I click Add Requests. And it brings up a list of all of the possible different services in the system. And I see here there's pet care, bird sitting, cat sitting, dog boarding. These get indexed and searched every night and I'll show you that function in just a second. I'm going to have this ad expire in three months. I'll save my changes and there they are. This ad will expire and be removed by the system automatically in three months. Now that'll get indexed so it can be searched. Uh, it happens every night, 2 a.m. Just to show you how powerful search works, I type the word hour into the search box. Well, we just pulled up two providers, one receiver, one matching member bio, a member that's got the word hour in their name, I think it's hours McGee, a member to exchange message, and three help items. The help items are kind of cool. You'll notice down in the footer, there's a contact tech support and contact your coordinator buttons. If you ever need help with the software that you can't find in search or can't find with contact sensitive help, by all means, click one of these and ask us your question. When you do, we can anonymize and save our response and make this answer and question a part of the knowledge base so it's actually growing as we use it. Another feature that we provide is the ability to create and join groups. First we'll just look at sending a message. If I want to send a message to a particular group that I'm a member of, I can select the group, 
put in my message and post. It's going to show up here in my group messages and every member in the group is going to get an email copy of the message. If I want to leave a group, I just simply click this X next to the group and I'll be removed. If I'd like to create a new group, like the dog sitting group, put in the name of the group, put in a profile, a description, this is for dog sitters, we might have more detailed information in real life, add the group, it's going to create it, add me to it, and post a member to exchange message. Hi everybody, we've created a new group, dog sitting group, and you're invited to join. That'll go out on the weekly email so that you can join the group and participate. It's a great way for members to self-organize. Use the system to foster new events and activities in the community. You'll notice the help button once you get inside the system is context sensitive. It brings up help about where you are. We're in the news area and here the very first element is to post a message to the whole exchange with very simple instructions on how to carry that out. To reply to a message, I see down here. Click news on the menu bar. Click reply next to the message you want to reply to. Type your reply into the highlighted box and click post. Let's try it. Let's go down here and find a message. Leonardo needs help gathering materials for a new invention. I think I might be able to help him with this. I say, hi Leo. I can help uh, this weekend. Give me a call. And I'll post. And it does an interesting thing now that this has become a conversation thread. Everyone in the thread is going to get an email copy of the conversation. And the conversation is now going to expire 14 days after the last reply, not 14 days since the message was created. You'll also notice some of these messages are highlighted in powder blue. It might be a different color for your exchange because they have total control over all these colors but the highlighting indicates messages that I haven't read since the last time I logged in. So we've gone over simple methods to message the entire exchange, message all the members of a group, create a new request, create a new offer, works pretty much exactly the same way, and a way to search the whole system for information. That's probably enough to get started. Thank you for time banking.